Sup Toy fans, we're back to talk about our NEC pickups. That's yeah. Ben. That's Muggsy. And this is it's out added of Something's not right. Let's try that again. Ah, much better. That's better. That's Ben. That's Muggsy. And this is Bugsy's, Bugsy's Toy, Toy Box. Box. Right, guys, we're back. We are. NEC this weekend. We had a sick time. We did. It was Thank you wicked. so much for everybody that sort of came and chatted toys with us, for all our sort of awesome pickups that we made, awesome gifts. Uh, as you saw from the title, we had some uh, lovely t-shirts from our good friend JT. His wife made us these, so thank you very much. Cheers. As you saw, they were a little bit tight on me, <laughs> but that's oh, because right. I'm a giant compared to him. So, but oh, thank right. you very much for our t-shirts. Right, lanky over it. <laughs> right, so, do you want to start or shall I start? Yeah, I'll start. Why not? Yeah. Go on. Uh, what do you want? So, first thing I picked up while we were there was off of uh, Vic from... Um, Fistful of Collectibles. Thank you, Fistful of Collectibles. Got an awesome Punisher figure. Now, this is a Marvel Legends, and he is massive. It is a giant figure, isn't it? Look at him. He has caught his lots of articulation. He's got, like, proper elbows. Yeah, proper elbows. He's a giant figure. Pretty cool, yeah. though. But, yeah, again, same most Punisher items, really. You don't see an awful lot of them. So whenever I do see one that I can add to the collection, it's going to happen. So yeah, he had him on his stall, and we did a nice little trade for that. He uh, he collects Red Shadows from Action army Force. Builds. Army builds them, and uh, yeah, so we did a nice little trade for a couple of armies, uh, a couple of armies. Oh, well, start that again. A <laughs> couple of Red Shadows for this guy. So thank yeah. you very much, Vic. Much appreciated, mate. He is awesome, and I really, really, really like this figure. So yeah, very happy with that. Let me see. What year was this one? This one was a two thousand six. Two thousand six. Well, there you go. 2006, Marvel Legends. Yeah. Carry along the lines of trades, we did an awesome, I say we, I did a, an awesome trade with Addy from Andy's Toys and Models. Uh, traded him the Duke Nukem we picked up last week. Uh, yeah, bad the electric. Guy from Captain Planet, the electric yeah. one. As he puts it, um, Mr. Sweetcorn in a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> He's forever going to be known as Mr. Sweetcorn. Yeah. Uh, and we traded him for this absolute beast. So for you guys that don't know, this is Hothead from the Turtles. He's got his headdress, he's got his sword, and his neck extends. And he is one awesome figure. One that I didn't think I'd be able to pick up in the UK. It's a sick figure to add to the collection. It's very cool, isn't he? And there you go. He is awesome, like proper Chinese dragon style. And this was out of Andy's personal collection, so he's in really good mix. So thank you so much again, dude. Yeah, such good condition. Oh yeah, absolutely amazing. Like, we picked up a lot of turtle stuff today. Some to sort of pair up with bits and pieces we already had. Some for me to put in my collection, some accessories that I needed. As you guys have seen from uh, the Instagram post on Tuesday, I managed to pick up the last um, egg grenade to complete my ace duck. And now he is in awesome minty condition, obviously, because he is from my personal collection. Uh, he's got his gun. He's got all four egg grenades. Uh, he's the version with the hat that had the peg in it. Because there was two of these. There was one that just had a flat head and one that had oh, a, a peg head, a hole in the top. So yeah. that was awesome to be able to complete one of these. Because I've got loads of figures from the lines, but most of them are missing a couple of weapons or a little bit here, a little bit there. So, so awesome to tick one completely off the list. Yeah, you needed that last egg grenade like he needs a hole in his head. Hey, hey. hey. He does for that hat anyway. Yeah, for that variant. Keeping along the lines of me completing ones for my own personal collection. I also picked up the bear trap for Leatherhead. That's so, a shotgun. I know, but I was just showing all the bits. <laughs> so, picked up the bear trap. So, uh, I got the shotgun a couple of weeks back. Um, and he's got his belt, and he is in awesome, awesome condition. So, that's another one to take off the list. I've only just realised that you can actually put the shotgun in his belt. Oh, yeah. There's a um, yeah, loop for it at the back. I never knew that. Yeah, that's wicked. There you go. He just doesn't display very well in that in the back because it knocks off all the other ones that stood next to him because <laughs> it pokes out quite a lot. Well, there you go. Right. right you are. Now, again, from the personal stuff, I managed to find a Batman figure that I didn't have, which I've been looking for for ages at a non-ridiculous price, and I managed to find him. Mm. Uh, don't normally talk about prices, but I will mention how much I got this guy for. Um, a lovely lady let me have this fantastic... Superpowers Batman for four pounds. 
an absolute bargain. Absolute bargain. He's in really. He's got a little. You see a little nick there. He's got a little bit of play wear here and there in places. You can see a little bit of rub there. He's a bit of a clean. So he's got a sticker stuck to his back. Oh, he had a price sticker on him. Yeah. So I need to properly get the residue off. But uh, no, I'm really, really happy to have this and add to my superpowers collection because um, just spent ages trying to find one. Considering he's my favourite character, but I had all the other superpowers and not him. Yeah. I say all of them, as in like a lot of the main ones. Yeah. Um, yeah. So very happy to add him in. So very, very pleased with him. Yeah, he's awesome. Just uh, don't have his cape, which yeah. I don't think I'll ever get unless I upgrade him. Yeah. With one that already has one. But as we said in the last video, it's always better to have one and upgrade one than not have one at all. So. Absolutely. I might just make him a custom cape for now. Or I might be able to custom fit a uh, Batman Returns era cape on him. That'd be cool. So, yeah. Right. So, for the toy box, we picked up a couple of figures. A lot of turtle stuff, as I said. Mm-hmm. So we picked up a, well it's more accessories actually, a gun to go with our general drag figure. Yeah. A fly swat to go with our backs of stockmen. Now annoyingly, I say annoyingly because it was helping somebody else out, I sold the other bit that the fly swat goes into because I didn't think we were going to get another one. Then we picked up a loose figure the other week uh, and then picked up his fly swat, well turtle swat actually I should say. It's got a tiny little squash turtle on that if I can get the, the camera to... <laughs> Fixate all these little them. details that I just you never notice yeah you don't unless you sort of know to look at them or you've got them to look at mm. um, we picked up uh, the weapons for our loose fugitoid so we're just missing one of the weapons and he is complete I've got to complete one of these in my collection already but they are awesome awesome figures I think it was one of the first things we when we started this and we were doing the car boots managed to pick up a fugitoid figure like just randomly in a box and I was absolutely buzzing yeah, it was. But, it was one of the very first car boots we ever did, because yeah. I was like, what the hell is that? You had no idea what it was. I had no idea what it was. Right, do you want to go? Rather yeah. than me go again? Yeah, sure. Uh, picked up a Grizzlaw. Yeah. Um, of because, a lovely chap, um, yeah. who was stalling just behind us, because I had all the accessories for him, but no figure. From that big lot we had the other week, it was um, in that bag of accessories. Yeah, so I had his um, harness and... Harness? Chest armor, harness, armor, yeah. Armor, sorry. Armor. Yeah, and uh, and his bow, but uh, no figure. So got a uh, a nice, nice condition grizzly. He's really nice, actually. He is. There's no damage to any of the furs. No missing fur. No, the only bit of play wear is a little bit of rub on his feet. Yeah. Other than that, he's uh, he is minty. Not bad. So, uh, at all. so yeah, got a nice uh, complete grizzly to go in the display when we do shows. Yeah. Right. We also picked up a pretty complete Muckman. He's got his gun, he's got his garbage can backpack, he's got the top of his head. Uh, no Joe Eyeball, because that is also what I'm missing from mine. And JT loved the fact that when he came over, showed off the fact that he picked one up, minus the gun, but with Joe Eyeball, for a tenner. Uh, and he knew how much it would annoy me. And the only reason he told us is because he then followed up that he had a bag of Rainbow Bright, which we knew he was going to pick up, and you knew we were going to mention it on the video. So uh, that's my getting you back for winding me up, showing me that you had one and I didn't. So yeah, thanks. Pretty much. But it's awesome to have another one of these. To be fair, when I was wearing this T-shirt, I did feel like the kind of man who would turn up with braided pigtails yeah. and collecting Ooh, Rainbow Bright. I didn't know you were going to go that far. Wow. <laughs> And that's not from me, that's him all on his own. <laughs> he was rocking that Kim Kardashian look. He oh, loved you, his well, life. You whistled at him across the aisles and <laughs> he did. knew who it was. <laughs> right. Um, you look banging, mate. <laughs> <laughs> lastly, for, on my part, pickup wise, I'm just, just looking around, double checking. Oh, figure wise, anyway. Yeah. Uh, picked up a, another belt for our Rat King figure. Now, I can never get these things to stay on properly, but <laughs> the details on this is awesome. Like, it's a squashed cat. Um, bits of cheese, daggers, sorry about my shaky hands, but it sort of goes with the whole look and feel of Rat King and how gross he is with his, the bones and the rats and the bugs and stuff all over him. But it was awesome to pick up some accessories to go with that one to make him more complete. Absolutely. Also picked up a whole lot of the brown accessories for Remember the, that? yeah, if you can do for the turtles, um, so there was part of a weapons rack for one of the turtles with two stars on it, which you don't ever see. I found in the bottom of this tray a load of stars, which I need to complete my four. But one of the coolest things I found, if I can get it out of the bottom of this bag, is a can of 
turtle food, if you guys can see that. I don't think the camera's going to pick it up very well. Now, but did these tiny little accessories come with the... They came with the mutating turtles. One that where you sort it. of pop the shells open, spun it all around. Uh, and they are like hen's teeth to try and find. Mm. But they were awesome to pick up. We misplaced one, it being so small. Yeah. And uh, randomly found it in the boot of my car. <laughs> yeah. We were doing a car boot the other week. Muggsy got all the stuff out and was like, oh, what's that? And it's this tiny little cat. They've got to be about a centimetre tall. Yeah, if that. If that they're tiny things. Really small. We also, also picked up a load of, oh yeah, these yeah. accessories. Yeah, so got some extra accessories. Uh, now, these go to a storage shell turtle. The, Took, uh, the knife oh. is storage shell Don. The fish knife. I mean, I'm, I didn't understand quite why these were all fish based. No. Which is very odd. I mean, it's it's an awesome little detail, and there's like scales and stuff on the fish. Yeah, and this uh, this is like a a mace, except it's a um, puffer a fish. puffer fish on the end of it. Yeah, it's a nice little detail there. I mean, from that angle, it looks a bit like an owl face. Yeah, <laughs> but these were awesome. I thought they might have gone to the cave turtles, but no, they're the storage no. shell ones, which doesn't make any sense at all. Got a uh, got a grapple there. Yeah, I'm not sure which one of the. No, we haven't, from. haven't figured this out yet. If anyone knows which one the grapple goes to, because we've yeah. not been able to find a reference for it yet. No. Um, and also this tidy little hatchet. Just there. There's one of Don's ones, is a, like a little throwing axe, which I sold a couple of weeks ago because I didn't think it was for one of the turtles that I had. And annoyingly, I have got one. <laughs> so. Well, you know, swings and roundabouts. Yeah, but... It is the toy world. Also, off our good friend at Holy Grail, I picked up a load more turtles accessories. So there's one of the sewer tubes in there, um, uh, oh. some swimming don parts. There was a wing nut wing. Oh, actually, the wing nut wing was from somebody else. Oh, actually, there's something else in there that is not turtles. Those. These. Yeah. If anybody also knows what this is from, I thought it was from uh, Needle Nose or Killer Bee, but from my unofficial collector's guide that I've got which I think is made by Cybertron Collectibles, so I'm sorry if that's wrong, and it's not, but I'm pretty sure it is. But this is not on either of the pictures. So if anybody knows what this is from, that would be awesome to let me know. Drop a comment in the box. Yeah, please do. And also, just because we have a lot of these, and we're constantly being asked for them mm. at every show we go to, and we never have spares, but now we do have spares, mm. is we got a bunch of uh, blasters from Bucky O'Hare. Yeah. So we've got one orange one. We're terrible at remembering who these go to. Or the we know which ones are the characters they go to, but it's remembering their names. Yeah. I mean, I can't remember, if I'm honest, if this actually goes to Bucky himself or not. Um, I'm sure someone will tell me. I think like Rudy probably knows. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we got that one, uh, and we got a bunch of silver ones. Not all these are the same. Now, some of these go to um, the dog figure, which the we dog know figure, which we know. They've got like little dog collars. Around no. the middle. Yeah, some of these came in silver, some of them came in like a turquoise colour. Yeah. And the figure that we currently have has got the ones with the turquoise. Yeah. Um, now we have, let me see, one of, no, two, yeah. No, they're one, different. One of these. Now you see, four different ones coming up. Yeah, one of these, so you've got that that's kind of... That's not in focus. That's not in focus at all. There we go, that's better. So can you tell that the... the patterning on the end of that okay so that's that one yeah, give me a... which is very similar to this one but you can see it's just that little bit different ben do you want to hold the other one up yeah make sure i get the right one yeah so you can see that it's very very similar but not quite you can see the added detail on the top there yeah and, and the spikes are on yours are at the front are are, a lot more yeah they're pronounced. slightly different so there you go so there's Un those two. Untrained eye, I would have said they were the same until you look further. We did, because I picked one lot up and then you came back with some more later. I did. We found a guy at the show who had these big brown trays and he had about four tables covered in trays. So it was like being at the car boot, man, just rummage through stuff. And he was doing was great. awesome, awesome prices on some of this stuff. If you like, if you bought quite a lot of it, like we did, just because we knew we had the figures for the things to go to. So Absolutely. it'd be silly not to. So there's that one. So Again. It's got like a fin or like a fan on the yeah, back of it. Yeah, it is. So there's that one, and last but not least, this one that just looks a bit like like a classic ray gun. Yeah. So there we go, a whole mixture of different Bucky O'Hare accessories. Yeah. Um, and yeah, now we just got to figure out which ones which I go ones to. Which ones they go to? Because where they look 
almost the same from distance. That's the tricky bit going through Google Images and trying yeah. to find. I was references. trying to do it while we were there at the show, and I just couldn't because there were so many people I wanted to speak to. I didn't want to be sat on my phone the whole time. Anyway. Nah, absolutely not. Right, well, well I think you? that. Well, no, you, you've got your last big pickup to show us. I've got two pickups to show have you. you. Yeah. Oh, you have got two. Yeah. Yeah. I'll Why start. I'll start with the small one. So Ben needs one of these. Just for funsies. We've upgraded our walkies. <laughs> so original 1992 Batman Returns walkie talkies. These are awesome. They and we are. have just tested them and had a play around in the house. Yeah, they make um, a horrendous noise because they're very old and they're not very loud when you're talking to them. Hello. Sup. The thing is, we're actually louder shouting at each other on these than you are if you could actually hear through them. Yeah, but still. They look really good on display, going in my Batman yeah, collection. Good. The um, the antennas also look like they're just wrapped in black tape. Yeah, gives the aesthetic, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but they yeah. are, yeah, they are. They're a cool addition to your collection, aren't they? They are. Ending with Batman. Now, I got this at the very end of the day on NEC. I decided, you know what? It's nearly packed down time. He hadn't bought himself had... any presents, whereas I had. Yeah, apart from that little Batman, and obviously yeah. I did the trade with Vic, but I had actually gone out and bought anything. You know, significant. We always like to when we're there because obviously, if we've had people buy stuff off us, we always like to do the same. Plus, it's awesome stuff to be able to show you. Plus, we get stuff to put in our own collections, which is always a bonus. Yeah, and this is something that I knew existed, but I'd never seen one. I'd never even heard of it until you brought in it in real back. life. And I got it from a lovely lady at a very good price, um, and I'm very, very pleased with it. It's in really good condition. You would have seen for this the, on our Instagram. Yeah, for the animated Batman collectors. This is the Adventures of Batman and Robin Rogues Gallery. Now, inside here is a bunch of the baddie figures from the original line of animated series Batman figures by Kenner. Now, this has got Kenner and Hasbro on it because it came out in 1997, around about the time that Hasbro was kind of taking over Kenner um, before it completely swallowed it up and just made it all Hasbro. Did you say it's got both of them on it? Yeah. Uh, it's got Hasbro trademarks somewhere. Oh, that's got to be quite unique here. at this point, then having both parts on it. Yeah, see, it's Kenner trademark is a ha uh, Kenner is a trademark of Hasbro Inc. Yeah, so there you go. You can see that it doesn't have the Hasbro logo, but it does state Hasbro in there. So right when they were taken over, right you are. So in this box, you get to see what's in it. So. Man Bat is in it. You've got Scarecrow, Catwoman, Clayface, the Joker, the Phantasm, Poison Ivy, and Killer Croc. Now, one thing that you should notice if you are a collector of these things, or if you're familiar with this box set, is that although they're exactly the same moulds, they made them in variant colours. So Still all of the colouring paper, is slightly different. So. So we've got Man Bat and Catwoman. Man Bat's normally a different shade of brown. Catwoman's normally grey, not black. Unlike the Catwoman from the 1992 Kenner run from the Batman Returns, yep. where I think it's the same mould, um, but slightly different face sculpting. Yeah. Um, and she is all black. So very similar to that. You can just about see her behind Does bars. Does she come with the cat? She comes with the cat. Nice. Um, and you've got two big claws and a whip yeah. for this version. Uh, moving along, we got Killer Croc there. And Poison Ivy. Again, he's a different shade of colour, and Poison Ivy's light and dark green are reversed. Mm. I think it looks better that way, though. Yeah. There we go. We've got... I can't see what I'm showing you. There we go. Right, we've got... Clayface. Clayface and Phantasm. Clayface is very, very pale in this version, whereas normally he's more like a brownie clay. Yeah. Uh, and Phantasm, her colouring is, again, back to front. Normally she's black with grey boots and gloves. Clayface is also... His um, accessories, well, the... The sort of mace ball yeah, is yeah. a bronzy colour. Yes, whereas normally it is just, again, more brownie. It's usually the same colour as the rest of them, isn't it? Yeah. Here we've got Joker. Now, he is just a different shade of purple. He's a more almost metallic-y looking purple. It's not metallic, but it does look a bit closer to that. And they're more luminous colours with his accessories. Uh, Scarecrow, as you can see there, he is normally red. Yeah. He's normally red, but they've made him an orangey colour for this one. And there you go. That is the Rogues Gallery. Mm. Absolutely buzzing with this. It's absolutely, awesome. It's a nice big buzzing. display piece. It really is. Very buzzing. Cool. You want your packing paper? Oh, I do want my packing paper. Thank you. 
Right, guys, lastly, we didn't buy these at the show, but the eagle eye of you will have seen. We got some custom t-shirts made. Now, I'm going to brag about this one because this is all me, with the help of Muggsy's lovely other half. Um, as you've probably seen from our Instagram, I've been doing my mashups of um, different characters and bits and pieces, and I did, we spin round, make sure you guys can see this, Pennywise and It. Uh, Pennywise and It? Pennywise and Venom. <laughs> to create Venom-wise. Now, we've had a load of these printed. Do you want to sell like this so you can point at it? Yeah. There you go. You, you stand up a bit so we can see the bottom. Lovely. Yeah. There you go. So as you can see, we've done them in white and grey. We've got larges and extra larges. I'm wearing a extra large, so they're not they're not giant. But I'm 6'2", and an extra large fits me quite comfortably. Um, so these are awesome. If you guys want one, um, give us a shout. We've got sort of like 10. Um, they're sort of they're only like 12 quid. We're not. I'm not going to do them at crazy prices, but just because we wanted to make some, didn't know if anybody else wanted them. Yeah. So if you want one, yeah, give us a shout on Instagram, Bugsy Toy Box, Facebook at Bugsy's Toy Box. Stick a comment in the YouTube thing, and we can get in contact with you, and um, ship some of these out. I did have a couple of lovely people buy some off me at the NEC, which was absolutely amazing. And you sort of get that feeling that people want to wear art that you've created, which is really cool. So thank you to everyone that did buy one. Yeah. So if you do want one, please let us know because if they go. I can convince them to make more, yeah, and I, I want more of them, so yeah, please. And if we want, if you guys have got um, any of the other ones that we've done previously that you want to see on t-shirts and that you guys want, let us know those as well. So guys, thank you very much again for tuning in. We've had yeah. some new subscribers and a lot of new followers on welcome our social media. thank you. Yeah, welcome. Thank you very much for subbing, and I hope you enjoy the channel. Um, if you're not subbing, please consider to do so. Um, and if you're not following on our social medias, then please do so at Instagram and Facebook, all at Bugsy's Toy Box. Yeah. So guys, have an awesome week hunting. Look forward to us next week, hopefully, with another video of some bits and pieces we've been picking up. And Absolutely. Until then. Keep it unpunched.